Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is MKT311. Today I'm coming to you with a, another OHO scale review. This Today I am going to be reviewing the Bachman Echo Valley, Echo Valley Express train set, which comes with DCC and sound, which that means that this locomotive comes equipped with DCC and sound. So without further ado, let's jump right into the um, review. So starting up on the locomotive's pilot, we have an, Mark, an Easy Mate Mark II coupler up here on the front of the pilot, and a little simulated air air brake hose. We also have a very nice pilot down underneath, a very nice pilot right here, and some little steps on each, some little steps on either side of the pilot. We also have an operational coupler cut lever, which is by now pretty standard, almost Bachmann steam locomotives. Up here, coming up up the um, smoke box, we have some grab irons on the lower half of the smoke box. We have some smoke box door detail and the locomotive's front number plate, 7080. Moving to the very top of the smoke box, we have the locomotive's headlight. And on, the si and on each side of the headlight, there's a the number board, 7080 yet again. These number boards are not lighted up, but the headlight does have a very powerful... Um, headlight is, has a very powerful LED, so that's, that's great. We have some add-on handrails on. We have some add-on handrails on both sides of the locomotive. We have a very nice bell up here, which unfortunate, which unfortunately does not swing. But quite frankly, I, at this point, I could really care less about about whether the bell swings or not. We also have the whistle and pop-off valves back here, and an add-on dynamo. We also have some add-on um, air compressors up here. And moving back, moving back along the boiler that we have, mainly just some nice cast in detail. These are sand lines and such, and I think that's the feed line right there. But just some, just more very nice cast in detail. We also have on either side of the locomotive a builder's plate, a legible builder's plate, which this says American Locomotive Company, Schenectady Works, January 1903. See, I was able to magnify that earlier, so I think that's what I'm pretty sure that was. I, well, that's what I was able to get from that. Moving down, the engine has very nice running gear. It's very, has very nice running gear. It looks even better in operation. So we got that. Moving over to the um, locomotive's cab right here. Excuse me. Here we have the engine's cab. We have some very nice we have very nice rivet detail and a plastic window insert right right here. We also have the Southern logo. We also have the Southern logo and their slogan Southern serves the South. And the engine's road number 7080 printed in very nice clean crisp lettering. Underneath here we have some more um, a little it's a little it's a combination of add-on and molded in detail right underneath the cab here. So it's very nice, very nice indeed. Here we have the locomotive's tender, which is probably, which is a very, it's a very small tender indeed, but that doesn't detract from, its, but that doesn't detract from its attractiveness. We have the um, word Southern here, very nice, clean and crisp lettering right there. Say so more nice rivet detailing. We have a um, simulated hatch here that that does not, it doesn't open. So we have the engine's rear headlight, which is actually an almost exact copy of the one on the front of the locomotive, which I guess makes sense. Also have more number board, more seven, the number 7080 written on the tender headlight. See up here we have some very nice, we have some nice molded in cold detail. See it's probably standard what you would probably expect from another, from a Bachmann locomotive, coal, coal wise. Also, another interesting thing they did on an interesting thing they did on this locomotive. I don't know how well you can see it in there, but the but if you can see in there, they added coal spilling out of the tender, which is something I haven't seen on many Bachmann locomotives. So props to Bachmann on that little touch. I actually really actually enjoy that more than I thought I would. So moving down the line, here are the cars we have. Is this is a P. There's a Peabody short man, a Peabody short line hopper car. Excuse me there. Um, it's nothing special. It's just a standard Bachman hopper car. It's got a plastic, um, plastic coal insert, which it's not as nice as the coal in the tender. But if you don't like it too much, that it, it you can remove it. If if you don't like it, you can remove it. 
See, it is removable, at least on my set. Just gotta turn it. Just gotta turn over the thing, and it should it should fall right out. So that is the hopper car for you. Also, I forgot to mention that the each car on here has plastic wheels on all trucks and Easy Mate Mark One couplers, which it's pretty standard with most Bachman sets. So nothing too out of the ordinary there. Here we have a again nothing special. It's a Pennsylvania gondola. Say it's nothing special. It doesn't have a load or anything like that. Say you see these. Say I see these um, gondolas quite frequently in these Bachman sets. So nothing too special there. So then back here we have another kind of staple of these Bachman ready to run sets, which is these um, kind of off-center cupola cabooses, which are synonymous with Bachman sets. So this one here is done in a southern paint scheme to match the locomotive, I would assume. It's it's nothing too special. It's got the it's got the um, word Southern right here in a road number and the uh, Southern logo like we saw in the cab. See, one thing I did notice about this caboose that I haven't really noticed with other Bachman cabooses like this is that the roof is painted black. On the other ones, I've they're usually just the same color as the rest of the caboose, but no, this one is um, painted black. So quite frankly, I do like that. I think Bachman should do it a little bit more often than they really do because they don't do it too often. So this is the only set I can recall that they actually painted the roof of the caboose, but I'm sure they've done it in other sets at some point in time. So, with excuse me, with all of that out of the with all of that out of the way, let's go over some of the locomotive's sounds, sounds and features. So another thing that comes with this set is the Bachman Easy Command Control Center. Um, the set includes this because the locomotive is, like I mentioned earlier, equipped with DCC and sound. So essentially what this allows you to do is have control of multiple DCC locomotives at once, because each of these little buttons corresponds to a different locomotive. Like this button up here can corresponds to the engine, which corresponds to the 780. 7080, excuse me. So if you, you know what, I don't know what's going on with my camera. Stop that. There. So if you push the function button right here, each of these buttons will correspond to a different function of the locomotive, which I'm a, I will go over that in, in just a second. So see, there's direction buttons up here, control the direction of the locomotive, and an emergency stop button. And we also have our speed control right here. So enough with the um, command controller, let's go over the locomotive sounds and functions. So I have the, um, I have the um, controller plugged up now. So right now the engine is sitting idle. It's not moving or anything like that. It does have some very nice idling noises. So let's go over the engine sounds. So F1, that is the engine's bell. It has a very nice bell, in my opinion. So F2, that's long, F2 long is long whistle. And to turn that off, you have to press the button again. So turn it on, you have to press it once to turn it on, once to turn it off. So, so F3 is short whistle. F4 is steam release. And it's the same, same principle with F2. The F5 through 7 does nothing on this locomotive. On other Bachman engines, F7 would dim the headlight. F8 mutes the locomotive. And there you have it right there. It's muted. F9 does nothing. F10 turns on the headlight for both the front headlight and rear headlight on this locomotive. See, so I did notice, so if so right now the engine's in forward. If you put the engine to reverse, the if you just notice it happened right there, the locomotive's front headlight just dimmed a little bit because now the engine will be going in reverse if I turn it on. And so now it's back and forward, the front headlight is now at full strength and the rear headlight is now dimmed a little bit. So I'm going to do a low, I'm gonna do a, this real quick, I'm gonna do a kind of slow speed demonstration, I guess is what I would call that. So. This I'm gonna get just the slowest I can get it.
Honestly, I would have to say... I have to say, I have been able to get other locomotives going slower in some cases, but it's not bad. It's not, it could have been, it could have been worse. It could have been a bit more jerky than I thought it was. I thought it'd be a bit more jerky, but so, so I have gotten engines to go a little bit slower. So also there are, the engine does have synchronized chuff. So it's four chuffs per wheel rotation, which is probably the closest you can get to an act, to an accurate locomotive. So... Without. So, while I get a few shots of this sucker running around the layout. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been my review of the Bachman Echo, Echo Valley Express train set with DCC and sound. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment, don't forget to like the video, and please subscribe as it helps out a small creator. This is MKT311 signing off. Have a wonderful rest of your day.